Greetings, I'm Philip Fright Fiends, and thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, today's video is going to be talking about another horror movie that I watched uh, at the end of 2019. I mentioned it in my kickoff year video uh, where I talked about the fact that I watched uh, Incident in a Ghostland, and I also watched a movie called Lake Mungo. Now, Lake Mungo was a movie I had never heard of. Um, I follow uh, film critic Chris Stuckman, who has a uh, very famous uh, YouTube channel. I've been following him for a long time. And he did a review of it for uh, his Halloween series this past year. And it was a film that sounded interesting. It's a mockumentary style film. Something similar, to, uh, it seemed like, to like movies like Digging Up the Marrow, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. So I thought I would check it out. Saw that it was on Amazon Prime and called it up. And I'm really excited to talk about it today. So Lake Mungo tells the story of Alice Palmer, a 16-year-old who drowns while swimming. Despite the fact that the cause of her death is ruled as an accident, her family starts experiencing series, a series of strange and ominous events centered around the family home. Eventually, they discover a series of clues that lead to Lake Mungo, where secrets of Alice's past are revealed. The movie was written and directed by Joel Anderson, starring Rosie Tainer as June Palmer, David Pledger as David Palmer, uh, Martin Sharpay as Matthew Palmer and Talia Zucker as Alice Palmer. So Lake Mungo was one that, like I said, I was really interested in seeing. Chris Stuckman is someone I don't always agree with in terms of films that he likes or dislikes, which is, I guess, uh, standard with any film critic. Uh, I was curious to see this film because he talked about the fact that Joel Anderson has never directed another film and that he categorized this as one of the scariest horror films that he had ever seen and one of the most underrated. And my overall consensus is it was okay. Uh, I'm not saying it's a horrible film. I think it was really well done. I think the entire cast uh, did a fantastic job. There's some really horrific uh, imagery in this, especially one scene. Um, at Lake Mungo that really got under my skin and made my I, I really got freaked out and it actually pushed me back in my chair when I was watching it it just really got me I didn't expect it but for the most part it's very slow and plotting um, I understand you know it's it's a documentary style but as things slowly start to get revealed I didn't really feel like the big reveal was all that great maybe it's just because I've seen a lot of horror films I'm not a huge fan of found footage style even though I do like mockumentaries like I said like digging up the marrow I also am a huge fan of Blair Witch uh, the Blair Witch Project um, but for some reason I, I don't know what it was maybe I anticipated and hyped myself up too much for it I went into it kind of just seeing what it would be like and although I do think that the actors did a great job and get the sense that they were real people that they weren't acting which I thought was really well done um, I thought there was some terrific visuals there are some haunting imagery especially, especially when the action take moves to Lake Mungo um, and some of the reveals happen I thought there was some really chilling moments but in terms of a cohesive film that I would love to watch again it just wasn't there for me I'm not saying it was a bad film I'm not saying um, it's not one that wouldn't freak some people out uh, my wife was a little freaked out by it because she's really scared of ghost stories and those are the kind of horror films that really freak her out uh, for me it just didn't I thought like I said I thought it was okay I thought it was well done executed well just didn't impact me or hit me like I thought it would based on Stuckman's review but again um, I didn't go in expecting you know to love it as much as he did I just wanted to check it out because it was one I had never heard of and I grew curious about it just based on his initial review uh, but yeah if you guys are curious about Lake Mungo uh, again it's a very uh, obscure horror film it, uh, it flew under my radar because I had never heard of it until a few months ago. Um, but it is well executed. There are some chilling moments. Uh, I would recommend it to people that like uh, ghost stories and things like that. But for me, it's not one I need to revisit. It's not one that I would add to my collection. If I had to give Lake Mungo a rating on my scale, I would give it two skulls. So yeah, that is my rating on Lake Mungo. Uh, I'm curious if other people have seen it. If you have seen it, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Also, thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Also, I want to do a shout out uh, to a friend of mine. Uh, he goes by Bronco Juggalo. Uh, I'll put a link down below to his page. Awesome guy. Real cool uh, movie reviews, horror, you know, various genres. Uh, can't say enough great things about the guy. I want to see him continue to succeed here on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, again, link down below, support Bronco Juggalo, awesome guy, 
And thank you all so much for your support here with the Horror Zone. I hope people are enjoying the content I'm doing here in 2020. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I got some really cool videos that are coming up very soon. We'll include my next Boogeyman Break Time segment uh, focusing on the Bad Boys franchise. Really looking forward to doing that. I hope everyone else looks forward to it as well. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Thank you everyone for taking this time to drop by the Horror Zone. It really means a lot to me that people are supporting what I do here. If you like this video, um, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I upload videos at least once or twice a week. It would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel. Um, I This is a passion of mine. I love the horror genre. And uh, I'm really happy to share uh, my love of it with all of you. So thanks so much again for checking it out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.